Thank you, Ray. I'm going to start with uh, Illinois is a leader in corn and soybean production, and uh, we have 27 million acres, and 89% uh, is prime farmland. So it's pretty important for us, I believe. Uh, there's 97 soil and water conservation districts. And I'm going to let Kara talk about her local work group, which is in her Knox County. You know. Yes, good morning. Um, I am the resource conservationist for Knox County Soil and Water in Illinois. Uh, Marty is my regional rep from the Illinois Department of Ag. Um, and getting ready for this presentation today, I was uh, initially just answering it for my county, and I thought, well, if I'm representing Illinois, I'd better survey my coworkers. Uh, so I actually had a response from 42 counties out of 90, or 42 districts rather, out of 97 in the state. So I, I feel pretty confident in my responses today. Um, overall, uh, we are having successful local work groups here, and we start with inviting a diverse group. Uh, we invite you local municipalities, uh, township road commissioners, highway department, county board members, land contractors, etc different people that are able to get a good vision for what's going on in the county and not just their backyard. Um, you can see from the picture on the screen that we use a uh, brainstorming, uh, brainstorming exercise for the landowners there and the, the different attendees. And we just have a large flip chart. We go around the room and give them all some paper and pen and let them kind of brainstorm just individually what their concerns are. Uh, we go across the room and just have each person list one concern at a time, and we snake through the room until everybody's list is uh, voiced, and we put them in, you know, just in order on the on the flip chart. And uh, when we're when everyone's concerns are addressed, we compile like concerns, and then we have everyone go up and rank them. They all get some stickers, one through five, and those represent points. And so they go up and put their their highest priority concern gets the five point sticker and then at the end uh, we total them and that's how we come to find our ranking uh, for the whole county um, which is which is very simple and it, and it just takes us a couple hours to get this done start to finish um, across Illinois um, I, I had asked my constituents how often they hold these meetings most do annually some do every two to three years or five years that seems to be the most popular um, in order to gain some attendees, uh, most offices just send a personal invitation uh, to the diverse group that I mentioned earlier. They also um, maybe send out a survey with the invite, so if someone cannot attend, they can complete the survey and we can still get information that way. Some offices also just talk to the local work group members individually because they feel like uh, maybe they are more open that way uh, to get responses. And it was also encouraged to have uh, partners attend um, not so much for input, but also just to be there to answer landowner questions and maybe just give some of their top concerns as well. Uh, to hold meetings, uh, some offices hold their local work group meetings in conjunction with their annual meeting to get a large attendance there. Some with their board meeting. Some are actually present at their county fair to glean information from there. Some counties offer a meal or other food to get people to come. Um, and then what our county does is we just have a standalone meeting. And it, it seems to be working out well. Um, a lot of the information uh, that comes from the local work group that's successful for everyone is um, they use it at the local level to formulate the district annual plan of work or maybe the long-range planning. Um, some have also used it in past to apply for grants and other funding like a 319 EPA grant uh, to form watershed and also just to overall establish priority areas in the county. Um, some things that were not working well that I have found out is that turnout could always be improved. Um, maybe we could utilize reminders to get people there, either follow up with a phone call or send a reminder type postcard. Um, we always need to be changing with technology, so maybe there needs to be a Facebook group or an email uh, committee group, you know. Um, also, some, some counties had the concern that whoever was facilitating the group uh, kind of skewed their answers, and if it wasn't a concern that maybe they thought was fitting the mold, they kind of turned down comments. And so I noticed sometimes the, the participants who were giving the answers that got turned down, they just kind of shut down, and they wouldn't um, give their points anymore during the meeting. And so that kind of frustrated some of us. 
um, maybe a recommendation to fix that would to have a neutral third party facilitator, someone who's not in the conservation industry or is just more of a professional uh, meeting facilitator would be would be good. Um, a lot of comments when I got from my constituents in Illinois was that there needs to be more follow up on the process. Uh, the local work group participants need to see more of how their input is affecting the national level. Um, I know in our area um, we have a lot of frustration when the EQIP program is primarily focusing on livestock and maybe that wasn't their top concern, which I know you can't have the federal programs be county specific, um, but they just they aren't seeing a lot of the, the follow-up that I think could maybe be improved. Um, also, another comment that I got from uh, my constituents was that a lot of times the local work group participants look to the staff in the room for uh, direction and guidance on what the resource concerns need to be. So I'm not sure how to fix that, but um, maybe just have the staff be more quiet at the meeting. <laughs> so overall, that's what we had from Illinois, um, and I guess we'll take your questions at the end of this round. Well, thanks, Kara and Marty. Uh, you got us off to a great start. We appreciate that very much. I can hear the applause in the background, but since everyone's muted, the, the applause won't come through to you, but know it's out there. Uh, some excellent ideas, some excellent observations.